dirty writing. Doing what every night that I cry, that I the shadow of the Almighty God that I abide. Journey with me on this earthly ride. You heal my pain every night that I cried. Hey guys. Ooh. Hi guys. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Um. Time. Good morning. Somebody said, let me see you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Welcome back. Thank you, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I want to just jump right into it. I don't know how I'm going to answer so many questions and talk about so many things in such a short space of time, but um, I believe that before anything, I owe you guys an ex a, a conversation and a conversation that's long overdue, and so I just want to jump into it and to get certain things out there, and we can chit-chat a little bit and go through everything. I know it's been a long while, and I wanted you to know that I didn't purposely disappear. I didn't purposely, um, was not coming on live. I know you guys love to see me on live, and it feels good to be on live. But before I go any further, I just want to give God all the glory and all the honor, all the thanks and all the praise for this moment, for this beautiful day, um, for joining us back together in, in life, you know. Um, all right. So where do I start from? There's so many things to talk about. There's so many questions, so many concerns, and I don't even know where to start, to be honest, but I'm just going to be led by the Holy Spirit. Um, so let's rewind to last year. Let us go back in time a little bit. Um, last year, October, As you all know, I came off of Instagram because I felt targeted. I feel like everybody was kind of waking up every day trying to talk about me. And um, there was just sense of burden that came over me. Like, everything is spice. Every day I spice. Everything happened. I just me. Like, you know, I was being targeted. And so I came off of Instagram. And I, I remember telling you guys Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from last year, October. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take this moment for myself to kind of rejuvenate, heal. I was going through a lot of health issues um, that I want to kind of walk you guys through. Because sometimes we're on Instagram and because we see people laughing, we feel like, oh, they're happy. Not every laugh means happy. And um, I just want to be open. I want to be vulnerable. I want to be used by God to educate women on this tragic situation that I've been through. I, um, I've never come on live not knowing what I'm going to say. Yes, I'm scared. Yes, I'm afraid. Yes, I, because you see, I know that 
at the end of this live, in no a matter what I say, in no a matter what I explain, in no a matter what I tell you, know, there's still going to be people that's going to have their own opinion. Still going to be people that's going to probably laugh, that's going to drag me, that's going to bash me, that's going to do whatever. But at the end of the day, this life is not about them. It's about me and people who genuinely love and care for me. And so I want to take this time out to say, last year, if you had prayed for me, if you had genuinely prayed for me last year, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I want to even start there. You know, I want to start with God. I want to give him the glory. I want to give him all the thanks, all the praise. I want to acknowledge that there is a God. I want to acknowledge that Jesus is King. I want to acknowledge that I'm standing here by the grace of God. And I want to acknowledge that your prayers worked. If you prayed for me, if you was concerned, thank you. I appreciate you all because it's been a rough journey. So let us just go back and um, walk you through the journey. Um, so my health issue that I was having, I want to see if I know how to use this as best as possible because I want to also include photos in this live just so that you can understand what I was going through. Um, now let me see. How do I go? Camera roll. Um, how do I find the photos? Okay. All right. So I can't find the, hold on. I want to be very vulnerable and I want to show you everything so let me go into this collage as you all know because it's no secret i had um procedures done before i did liposuction and i had a tummy tuck done this is a picture of my real stomach um i was suffering from something called fibrosis and fibrosis is something that you get lumps in your belly you know so because of my past surgeries that i did before I had something called fibrosis and it's when you don't get your lymphatic massages done. So you get lumps in your belly. So this was what my real stomach looked like. But to be honest, I love myself like with my flaws and all. It wasn't really bothering me. It was like neither here nor there for me. Um, I went about my day and it started to affect me when it started showing up in my outfits choose a different asset stop sharing okay yeah just just bear with me guys i just want to be vulnerable with you guys and i want to be open and honest and so that's what i was going through and like i said it never bothered me until it started to show up into my outfits and so this is what it would look like in my clothing if you zoom this picture I'm zooming my own self. Okay, hold on. I can't zoom the picture. But if you look and you notice, it shows up through my clothes. And so the lumps started to get painful. Um, in this picture, that was like the real reality of what my stomach looked like. All right? Um, so sometimes when I see people on Instagram, and because they can't use up, and because they can't smooth out, and so it doesn't mean that everything is okay. So... That was the picture of what I was going through. And let me continue. So I decided to go to the DR because a lot of people was like, oh, why she wouldn't go to Miami? Why she go to America? Why she go to DR? I chose to go to the DR because I feel like I was more popular in America. And because obviously because of the same thing that happened when the things hit the internet, I was trying to avoid that. So I go to DR because of course, you know, it's a Spanish speaking country. So... You know, I wanted to consult to find out what was really wrong with me or what, you know, why my stomach was looking like that, why I was feeling pain, why I was getting lumps in the stomach. All right. So that was what I was going through. Um, while I was in the DR, as you know, when you get a breast implant, well, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm wrong for saying that because I don't think everybody knows. So let me say, I don't think you know, but when you get a breast implant, it only has 10 year lifespan. Is there something wrong with the mic? You you not hear me? Are you guys hearing me? I'm hearing. Check your internet. Hold on. Let me check it. Hold on. Pause due to cut. Is that better, guys? Let me know if you're hearing me. 
because uh, I want to take a deep breath and I want to just um, get this off of my chest and get this out of the way. So are you guys hearing me? It said frozen. Oh my God. Yeah, and I cover the microphone. All right, let me hold the, hold the phone in my hand. Is this better? I didn't want to hold the, um, the phone in my hand, but you say I'm covering up the microphone. I can hear you, speaker. Lisa Mercedes, you're there bright and early. Oh, I forgot to say England, you're there. <laughs> she said, yes, that's good now. You're good. Okay. Okay. Amara La Negra. I love you, sis. Oh, big up herself, Amara. My sister, Fenny, so that must step on you. Big up, Fen. All right. So, um, okay. Yeah, you guys can hear me. Where was I now? What did I say? Okay, so that was what I was going through through my stomach. So let me fast forward to when I went to the DR. So I went to the DR. I got my um, implants changed. And when I got my implants changed, I was consulting about my stomach. And they did a mild procedure. Because, you know, it's fibrosis. So there's nothing. It was a very mild procedure. And I was there. I was told to stay back for like... A couple of days. So I was on vacation. I was doing fine. My ticket was booked to go back to Jamaica. I was doing well. Like, well, as far as I thought, I was doing well. I was walking around. I want to share something else. Stop sharing. Um, geez, that's, that's, that's something I had for you. Anyway, guys, this, can I share videos or no? I can't share videos. This is crazy. It's the one I want. This is me on Eddie vacation. Michael! Woo! <laughs> I can't show videos. That's amazing. Eddie Michael! So I was Woo! on vacation and I was chilling on the beach. I was doing good. As you see, Mr. Michael Jackson, DR, I'm excited. And I was just relaxing on the beach and I was booked. I booked to go back to Jamaica. However, I ate something and I, um, I started vomiting. I started throwing up. But to be honest, everybody that knows me knows that when I travel, I always bring my local Jamaican food, my bread, and my this, and my that, and my that. Guys, I am on live and you are aware. If you have my number, please don't call me. This is a moment that I need to just explain and, you know, kind of update my fans. So if you have my number, if you're calling me, I'm going to black out the live, obviously. You don't need to call me. You see that I'm on live. These people crazy. All right. So yeah, I was on vacation and I started vomiting. I started throwing up. So the vomit became very alarming to me because it, it, it wouldn't stop. So out of concern, the surgeon that I know over DR, and my friends actually, big up to my friends over there, they called the doctor and they was like, no man, something is wrong with Grace. Like, can you come and check it out or whatever, whatever. When he came, to be honest, when I went there, let me go back a little bit. When I went there and I did my consult with my stomach, he was like, he asked me if I had a hernia because he noticed there was a bulge right at my belly button there or to the, if you look back on the picture, like long story short, I was like, no, I was like, not that I'm aware of or whatever, but obviously they did the procedure and he never see nothing, you know, wrong. And the reason why he never see anything wrong was I want to get to that. I want to take time and explain my story was because the hernia was at my side. Um, and so when they did the procedure to the front to do your breasts, they had no reason to do um, scans to the side. And so he didn't see that I have a, a, a hernia. So long story short, to just fast forward quickly, I vomiting. I went to the doctor. Um... And he was very concerned when he touched my stomach. I was in a, like feeling a lot of pain and I kept vomiting. I kept throwing up. I couldn't keep nothing down. It just repeatedly vomiting. And so he called and um, at the day when I went, it was a Sunday. And so there wasn't no body there to do like the MRI and stuff. Let me go back in the phone again. Because I want to share, me want to share everything. Okay. So he called an ambulance. That's me when I was in the ambulance. All right. Um, he called an ambulance to take me to another hospital, yeah? Because the one that he worked when I went there, it was a Sunday. And so he was like, I don't like how you're vomiting. I don't like your, you know, the feeling in your stomach. 
we need to rush you to the hospital and we need to do an MRI. Um, that was when I was going to the hospital in the ambulance. And somebody said, turn off comments. You guys can't see. How do I turn off comments? I don't know how to turn off comments. I'm sorry. I don't, I'm sorry. We don't want to properly, but we don't know how to turn off the comments. How me do that? Um, turn off comments. My love, I don't know if I turn off the comments. Them, the comments are distracting. Got it. I did it. <laughs> oh, be patient with me. That's that's what I ask God to do. So I'm asking you guys, just be patient with me as I walk you through this. Um, I don't really know how to use this thing properly, but all right. So that was when I was in the hospital. That was when I was being rushed to the hospital in an ambulance. Okay, so let's get off this picture now and stop sharing. So after they rushed me to the hospital, they did an MRI. You know, that big machine, they pushed me through the, the MRI machine. And I can vividly remember when they came back with the results while I was in the hospital. And I saw different like doctors and surgeons coming into the room. I can vividly remember the look on their faces like something was wrong. I remember I, I took I took up my phone and I called my sister and I was crying like I was I went ballistic because them over there them not talk English them speak Spanish so most of them did that did that talk Spanish but you you know when you can see somebody facial expression looking back at it and when I what I went through I can say that it's like them I look upon me like how the fuck is she right here like not dying or crying or in you know like how oh, she just lied on this so because what they found in the MRI scan was that I had a hernia. I want to explain this properly. I'm sorry I couldn't put down the phone. But what they found was that I had a hernia to my side and my intestines went through the hernia. My sister sent me a picture. I wonder if we can find it on WhatsApp. Lord Jesus. Oh, child, pardon me, beg me, give me time, 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 give me time. Let me see what's up. Fena, where the picture there where you send me? Me never save the picture. But I guess whoever knows that I wanted to show you what it was like. But I had a hernia. It poked through my, my intestines was going through the hernia. Because, you know, the hernia is a space in the muscle. And so what I was told was that my intestines was going through that little space that I had in the side, which is the hernia, and it erupted. But thank God that I had the hernia because it erupted on the outside of uh, outside of my muscle wall. I don't know if I'm even saying it correctly. The, the intestines erupted outside of that hernia muscle wall. And so if... If I didn't have the hernia, which is that space in the muscle, like that hole, the intestine would have erupted inside of me. If I'm not saying it correctly, I apologize. I'm just trying to be as accurate as all the doctors explained it to me. But when the intestines erupted, it started to poison my body. And it sent me into a sepsis shock. And the sepsis is the poisoning. That sepsis kills a lot of people. And that's, I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful to be here, to be alive, to be talking to you. I'm so grateful for this day. I'm so grateful to God. So the sepsis started attacking my lungs. And it started to attack some of the organs in my body. Um... The sepsis literally start to eat my skin. Like, oh my God, I don't know how to explain it to you. But my skin start to deteriorate. It start to eat my skin. It start to attack my lungs. And I didn't even know that sepsis was so dangerous. Or I, when I woke up and what I was going through, I'll get to that point, but it's like, looking back at it i can't believe that there's something as sepsis that is so 
dangerous. It literally, no, the entire part of my stomach where, let me just show you the picture. I'm, and, and I didn't want to share this picture. I didn't want to share the picture because my nose said there's so many people that are so insensitive and the, the, the blogs and the media are going to have a field day with it. Some might laugh, some might mock me, some might jeer me. But I want to be open and I want to be vulnerable. And I feel like I, I got, I oh God, this. This is a testimony. This happened to me for a reason. Like, I'm not going to keep it a secret. It don't matter how you know, look at it. It don't matter what you want to say. It don't matter what happens to me after today. Yes, I'm nervous. Yes, I know. Yes, I'm scared. Um, yes, I did not want to personally share this picture, but I got a testimony from God. I'm going to have to share it. I can't keep this a secret. I have to talk about God. I have to talk about Jesus. I have to show you what God did for me. I have to show you what Jesus brought me through, what Jesus walked me through. So even though I didn't want to share this picture, and I'm going to tell you, it's very graphic. If you don't want to see my journey, I would advise you not to be on this live Take a deep breath. It's very graphic. But I, I, like I said, I just want to be vulnerable and open with you. I want to be honest. I want to share what happened to you. I'll share it very quickly. And this is what the sepsis did to, my, did to me. It ate away my entire stomach. Um, and I died in DR. Okay, guys? I literally died. And this is when I died. Like, nobody can tell me different. Um... Yeah, I know it's very graphic. Um, I'm sorry, but I want to just get this off. I want to share everything. I just want to be vulnerable. I want to be used by God. I want to share my testimony. I want to show you what God did for me. Jesus is king. And I just believe that I need to highlight that. I need to showcase that. I need to show you how good God is. And so that's what I woke up to. Okay, so... Um, let me just take a deep breath because when I see things like that, I get emotional. I don't want to get emotional. I want to remain strong. I kind of put the blue hearts over it because um, some part of it was just too tragic. But um, woo, woo, ah, mm -hmm. so yeah, all right. Um, yeah, I don't want to get emotional. So that's really what happened to me. So after the sepsis ate away my stomach, it attacked my lungs. The doctors over there in DR, I just want to um, highlight them a little bit. I want to big them up. Um, I am grateful, so grateful that they never gave up on me. They, um, whew. Let me stop a little bit. I don't want to cry. I just want, I just want to, you know um get everything out there um all right one minute one minute one minute Ooh. All right, so mm -hmm. I promise I wouldn't cry. So, all right, so where was I? I um I was thanking the doctors in DR that never gave up on me. That was fighting through the sepsis to um to save my life. So they um they opened my chest. I have a scar going down. They had to open me up to go inside to stitch back the hernia i guess to place back the intestines in the wall that it was supposed to be in <clears throat> and so they um they opened me up they went inside they stitched back the hernia and um yeah i want to fast forward okay they opened me up, they stitched back the hernia. And so when I woke up, the 
big up to um i don't know if the doctors want to be mentioned but big up to to the doctors over there it was a lot of them the infectologist oh my god was so amazing dr paralysis mm -hmm. paralga i think or paralysis i'm so sorry but the infectologist was amazing my surgeon was amazing the other doctors it was because i remember vividly there were so many people in that room but i, I <laughs> they could have given up on me because like i said i, I died in dr um but I thank them that they didn't, that they fought through what I was going through, that they went inside, that they stitched the hernia, that um, they repaired me, that they, um, they did what they did. So I'm so grateful and I thank everyone from DR who fought with me. I thank you, Jesus. I will not stop saying this. And so I'm a type of person I worship a lot. I worship at home. I give God glory. I give God thanks. I give God praise. But I never used to come out publicly all the time and just to include him and stuff like that. So, you know, when I'm at home, I'm like a totally different person from that artist that you know. You know, I'm a woman of God. I'm a God-fearing woman. I'm a prayer warrior. And that's why I go through so much. Because that's what happens when, you know, you accept God as, you know, your king. And also, that's why no weapon will rise up against me, never prosper. So I was in the hospital from October. I left DR, I came to America. Um, <laughs> and I did another surgery immediately when I got here, okay? Um, they had tried to staple, staple me up. When I came to America, they opened me back up. They put me back in surgery because I was infected with the sepsis so bad. I was infected with the sepsis so bad so that they, they wanted to kind of clean me up. So I did another surgery again. All right. Okay. Fast forward. I was in the hospital from October to December. That's how bad my situation was. So a lot of times I used to go on my phone and I used to people say, oh, she not come explain this. Oh, she not have life. Oh, she not. Like I was dying. Like I literally was losing my life. I, um... I was going through a lot. So apart from that, that I went through, I was in the hospital for months. I was going through other things. I was, I came out of the hospital in December. I had that wound still when I came out because that wound had to self close. It's been six months now. And so, yes, it is healed. It is closed. And we're going to get to that part. But before we get to today, after they let me out of the hospital and I, I went home to my family, you saw the Christmas pictures. I was wrapping my kids' gift and present, even with that wound open. I was so determined to still let them have a good time. I was so grateful to God, right? And so when you saw me in Christmas, yes, I did still have that scar underneath my clothing. Um, I don't want to leave anything out because I'm not going to do this every day with you guys. Um, big up to Kiki. I just said she's a woman of God. You know, we pray and worship every day and all the time. So big up yourself. Just give God the glory. Just give God the glory. And even the bloggers. I know not have a field day with this life. But when you not even talk about me, even if you never talk bad about me or whatever it is, when you not talk about me or not talk about my story, just never forget to mention God. Never forget to mention say God is God. He's the King. King of Kings, Lord of Lord, the Alpha, the Omega. Hilo him, hilo ish, chastity. Like, just remember to include God. Because today is not about me. Just take me out of the equation. Drag me all on the wall. Bash me all on the wall. Say all the bad about me that you want. I'm okay. I'm good with it. Because I always tell people, I don't care what people think about me. As long as my heart is right with God, me good. So you can say whatever you want about me, but just remember to include God today because today may I give God him glory. Today may I give God him praise. Today I want to tell us that Jesus is king. Today I want to tell us that there is a God. Today I want to be the testimony for show you what God walked me through, where he took me from and to this. And yes, I'm going to show you my scars. I'm going to show you my process. I'm going to show you <laughs> that there is a God. 
and what he brought me through. So I was in the hospital. Let um, me go back in at the phone again. Uh, bear with me. And I couldn't eat for months. I want to get to that part. I, I wasn't eating 